All right, so friends and followers, what a day. And you might ask, why the hell do I have this huge bandage on my arm? Well, believe it or not, you have a very large vein right there in your arm. And if they wanna check your heart, they'll send a very thin tube up your arm with a camera and sneak it right into your heart. So with me, they did that. I was at the Mountain View Hospital here in Las Vegas, the cath lab catheterization lab and i guess they do about 20 uh, inspections of your heart and repairs if possible with a uh, stint each day in that lab so it's a busy place anyway they did go in through my heart that way through there and i can't take this bandage off until tomorrow i think she wrote uh tomorrow at three o'clock or something i can take this off and i really can't take a bath for a week i can't be putting this thing into water or soaking it and this thing can really bleed out. It's a huge vein, so don't want to really be aggravating it. Um, they need, apparently, three IVs when they do a, a cath on you or an angiogram. There's an IV there. Um, they have an IV here. I'm not sure what that one was for. And I have a lot of trouble getting IVs. I wasn't hydrated enough, and they're sticking me with needles, and it's like, holy crap. So finally, they put some... Uh, once I got this IV in, they put some, I wouldn't call it sleep aid. It's like it's like a medicine where they kind of knock you out so you can tolerate the operation. They put some in the here. And then I didn't even notice this IV here. It just went in on its own. I didn't even notice that one. So uh, no, once, once they gave me some drugs, I didn't care what they did and it all went fine. I remember hearing people talking and I just didn't really care. <laughs> I even answered a question about something, but nothing in my heart needed fixed. They didn't find any blockages. They found some very minor blockages, but they're gonna take care of those with medicine and not with any type of laser inside there or any type of blade. So when they put this catheterization tool, it's a very thin tool. It fits in your blood vessel and they can deploy a blade or a laser and cut away any kind of plaque that's there, or they can, expand the uh, blood vessel with something called a stint. A stint is a um, a wire mesh that they can, with a bubble, I guess, of air, push it out so it stays in that vein and keeps the vein open for good blood flow. So I still have issues, I'm sure, with my heart um, and pain in my chest, but they're going to handle it, I think, now with drugs because they didn't find anything really wrong with me as far as the heart's not plugged. That makes me really happy because my my um, mother had a quadruple bypass in her 50s. So I'm glad I don't need that. Anyway, that's my update. Yeah, it's kind of grim, I'm sorry, but if anyone's looking for um, what an angiogram is like or, or, or a catheterization, it's more scary waiting for it and more scary waiting for it once they do it you don't feel a thing. You don't, you don't feel anything. At least I didn't. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.